The world's been dark. We need a spark to guide us to the light. A place like this, this space we miss alive now, shining bright. So many nations, preparations, world-class sports, game on. The Rugby League World Cup bounce back from 2021. The spirit and the history does this to me. It feeds this unity, community. We live and breathe and need this. The women's, men's and wheelchair games combined. The first time ever. And the PD game will free this flame for everyone ever. The drain in training. No complaining. Pride inside for countries. The blocks, the knocks, the shocks. It rocks. The crunch, the crunch, the crunches. The tension, apprehension. Get knocked back, come back and then we will try and try and try and try and try and try, and try again. Giants. Saviors, triumphs, heroes, villains, legends, stories of blood and sweat and tears, of love and pain and hope and glories. And as fans in stands now, hand in hand, we stand and say, believe. But this is rugby, more than rugby. This is rugby league. Northern game, a people's game, will raise its game. Inclusion, a global game with local aims, a legacy, a fusion that will sow the shoots and grow the roots of league at every level with real impact. And so history will be written here. Is this going to be Jamaica's first World Cup points ever? Yes, it is. Listen to that roar. Make these moments to remember. They are certainly not giving up. As they're going to kick him behind. Oh, Big chance sense. here. This is going to be it. A moment of history. Sintelli to Calvo with the first ever Greek trail. An entire nation on his shoulder. A couple of minutes in from touch. Race Martin. 41 in a row. Now the plans, the stands, the bands, the lands, the fans. We're all assembled here to bring it, here to sing it, here to make the planet tremble. Now our trophy gleams with hopes and dreams, our flags are all unfurled. The Rugby League World Cup. It's time to shine now. Show the world. Oh, what a runner he is, the hooker. The number nine, back to Lamb. Edwin. Should we call him Sir Edwin? Wow. That is amazing. He might be Prime Minister.